everyone and welcome back to another vlog. It is actually a little bit late to be starting this vlog. It's almost four o'clock, but uh, it is our second day in New York. Actually our first full day. We landed yesterday at like two o'clock if you saw that video. Right now we are about to head off to Gen Beauty. Actually now I think it's called Ipsy Open Studios, but it used to be Gen Beauty. Anyways, that is one of the reasons that we came to New York. That and a video idea that we're filming on Sunday that had to be filmed in New York. So those two things combined, I was like, all right, I think it's a good time for New York trip. So Skylar is over here. She just finished getting ready, looking all cute in her jumpsuit. I'm trying you to focus. You look so cute. I know you look so I'm cute. cute. <laughs> I hate us. <laughs> so we are gonna head out. I think I'm gonna try to get a picture in this outfit before we get there. Let me show you my outfit. I feel real, real cute. I really, really like this look. So I have this mock neck long sleeve from H&M. This Nordstrom's plaid. It kind of looks like a coat, but it's really just an oversized blazer. It's pretty lightweight. My Gucci belt, these black corded shorts, these tights, and little black booties. So it's all black except for the blazer, which makes me feel like a New York boss business lady, which is exactly what I was going for for today. So let's go. Okay, so we are at Gen Beauty. Skylar and I are so, we're just in such good spirits, I feel like. I know. I feel like everyone's just so nice. I, I think we were a little bit worried because we booked this before the whole beauty con thing. And I was just a little bit worried. I was like, should we so go? And it's just like the atmosphere, the energy in the room. I'm not like a huge energy person, but I keep saying that. It's just the energy in the room is so good. Like everyone that we're talking to, like like other creators and brands, we've met so many viewers. It's just like amazing. Everyone is so great and so nice. And I'm so glad we did this together. I know, this me is too. So great. Hello everyone, it is another fabulous day in New York City. It is actually the next day. Skylar and I had so much fun at the Ipsy Creator Night last night. I know we filmed that like really brief little clip while we were in there, but it was kind of loud. But I just have to say, I feel like my feelings and my faith towards the beauty community has been restored. Every single interaction I had last night was just so wonderful and I left feeling like I made so many new friends and had so many great conversations and just feeling like good about myself. So I'm really, really glad that we went. That was great and just so much fun. And now I am having literally like my perfect morning that I could ever like create in my brain. Like literally, if you ask me, Sierra, what does your perfect morning look like? The only way it could be better is if Steven was here. <laughs> I am in New York. As you can see, I am playing Pokemon Go. It is a community day. And I have caught two shiny trap niches so far. While wandering the streets of New York, I, I honestly, I started in Central Park and I honestly just wandered. I am on Madison and 64th. I'm heading back into Central Park because I think I wandered a little bit too far and there's not very many Pokestops out here. So going back towards Central Park and uh, I'm just, I just love New York. I'm just in such a good mood. Like I got to do a raid battle with a viewer. I was like doing a raid battle and then uh, I like looked over at the girl next to me and she was like, oh my gosh, I love your channel. And that was just super, super cool and fun. I'm just on cloud nine right now. I love New York. I feel like the most me in New York. I'm alone. I'm exploring. Skylar and I have a long day today. So she decided to lay a little bit lower this morning. So she's in the hotel, just chilling out, doing a little bit of work. And then we are meeting up in about 45 minutes to go get lunch with my friend Jacob, who is like the staple of every New York vlog I do. <laughs> if you've seen my other vlogs from New York trips. I always meet up with my friend Jacob, who is a friend from high school, a theater friend, and he lives in New York. And I just have so much fun with him. Like we're so silly. And he's actually friends with Skylar too. We were all in like the same theater group in high school. So the three of us are gonna get lunch. It'll be fun to catch up. And then tonight we see Hades Town. Heck yeah. We met up at like one. We had lunch. We had drinks. Skylar had a virgin blended strawberry margarita. Ooh. I had mojito, which is my go-to drink. Jacob had a beer. It was great. We talked. We talked about a lot. Yeah. We talked about nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, no. We, de we definitely didn't talk about any juicy gossip. Yeah. No. no we, definitely no politics. No. We, we yeah. drank alcohol or not well, alcohol. Not her. In silence. <laughs> 
in silence. We will never talk about what we didn't talk about ever again. Uh, well, I need to come back to New York again soon. Well, don't right. you come back for the holidays? Uh, I, I'll be, yeah, no, I'll be back in San Diego this holiday season. Oh, so. this holiday well, season. Maybe I'll throw a Hanukkah party just for you. Oh, <laughs> what are we doing for New Year's? I don't know. <laughs> well, she'll be like, what? Eight months pregnant? Yeah, Nine yeah that's pregnant. why I said, what are we doing for New Year's? <laughs> yeah, let me just cut Skylar out real quick. <laughs> Canceled. No, no, no. Jacob has just started. I don't know. <laughs> Jacob also told us that he listens to the podcast and read every comment on the last vlog. I didn't read every so. comment. Well, he started off. We actually predicted. We didn't tell you before. No, we were so like, do you think Jacob listens to the podcast? Well, no, we were like, I bet he's going to say, like, I listen to like one or two episodes, but then like bring up a couple things. And then I you'd be like, listened. oh, that's just from like the one episode I listened to. But like, I think he might listen. I No, no, I totally do. I mean, I, I think you brought up the days. Yeah, a very important conversation. No, I seriously. I mean, you know, on one side, obviously, you guys are my friends, so like, I want to be supportive. I don't uh, want like friends is like a like a uh, kind of like a. We're, they're paying me stretch. to say these things. <laughs> I like your guys' input on stuff, so it's Aww. like if I can hear it while I'm not like I'm rarely home, yeah. so it's like I get a chance to hear it while I'm here. Wait, like, that's actually really nice and like genuine. Yeah. And I feel like usually we just like crap on each other, but that was really nice. No, I'm actually a person. It's pretty. Really, it's, <laughs> it's also I feel like it's really funny because we've talked about before that like Sierra like doesn't make jokes about me because I'm like the most sensitive of all of her friends. So it's really fun to be around the two of you because I feel like you guys are just like yeah. ripping into each other. And occasionally things will come my way, but yeah. like it's mostly just me and Jacob like trying to one up each other but it's like that's the thing when i say something at, at sierra she'll like throw it back at me but like i'll make a joke to skylar she'll be like why did you say that and i'm like <laughs> Who am I, Urkel? Like, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but like you've done stuff. Like, like that's how you'll like respond, you know? It's like a sad person in like a Charlie Brown cartoon. Why did you do that? <laughs> well, we love you. Love I'm you so too. glad I got to see you. You're so sweet. Sometimes, mostly not. Oh my God. <laughs> After that comment, she's done. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Coming at you from the West Coast, this is Kyle. You might know me as Skylar's husband. You also might know me as Link in the description if you're a Sierra Unfiltered podcast listener. Steven and I are hanging out today since our wives are in New York, so I'm heading over to his house right now. So I'm gonna throw this back to Sierra. Hopefully you'll see me later with some more clips. If not, it means I didn't film. I'm sorry about that. But otherwise, good to see you guys. It is time to take a trip to Hades Town. I'm so excited and I'm sure I have like food in my teeth because I just ate a protein bar. Well, I was just about to show you guys my outfit, which I thought was pretty cute until I noticed how uh, dirty the shirt was. Well, not dirty because it's clean because I washed it, but I'm like, I, I'm like shedding little pieces of hair on it. But Skylar being the ultimate prepared person that she is, packed a lint roller, which I don't think I've ever packed a lint roller on a trip. So bless you, Skylar. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Are you singing The Incredibles? I was, song? yeah. <laughs> like, you know, this is my super suit. Yeah. Lady pants and a turtleneck. So, here is my outfit. Got these little plaid pants and this black turtleneck. Not really wearing much makeup, just have my brows and a little bit of mascara, and I just added a few little waves to my hair since I didn't do it this morning. But I'm really excited. When I saw Hades Town last time I was in New York, I absolutely loved it. Like, it definitely is one of my favorite shows I've ever seen. And after I saw it, I immediately was like, oh my gosh, I have to see it again, just because it's such an intricate show that I know there's so many more things that I would catch on a second viewing. So when Skylar and I were planning this trip and we wanted to see at least like one show, it was funny because she wanted to see Hades Town, but she didn't want to say it because she knew I had already seen it. She's like, oh, Sierra probably wants to see something new. And then I was like, well, like, I don't know, we could see Hades Town, like, if you want to. She's like, oh my gosh, you'd be down to see it again. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I am like more than down. So it was very exciting when we realized that both of our desires for Broadway musicals matched up. I'm excited, let's go. So good. Amazing. So good. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my god, literally way better for me the second time. Oh, I'm so happy. Like, I feel like that was easily the best piece of theater I've ever seen. It's I'm just so, so happy. I think it's glad we got to experience it together. Did you like it? Oh, I loved it. It was amazing. Skylar said her baby was going nuts during like the big musical acts. Like insane. Over the last two weeks, he's Anna. seen Anastasia, Dodie, Lightning Thief, and Hades Town. And Hades Town for sure was like the I, hardest. I saw out of the corner of my eye at one point during the Wait For Me reprise. You like, it like really quickly grabbed your stomach. I was like, he must be going nuts over there. Well, it's I feel like sometimes he like kicks and like dances, but he was like punching. I was like, should I name you Orpheus? <laughs> Tell me something. Also, <laughs> I was telling Steven since the first time I saw this that I really want to go as Orpheus and Eurydice for Halloween. And literally, Skylar was like, you need to just make him. I literally that. leaned over and was like, hey, so this is you guys? <laughs> We're going to try to get this Uber. It's very loud. And I will check in with you guys when we get back there. But, oh. Oh, Hades Town, so good. Good morning, you guys. It is actually two days later now, so I didn't vlog at all yesterday because Skylar and I were filming a main channel video where I live like Gossip Girl for a day. That was super, super fun. That'll be up soon, so I will put a link in the description when that video is live on my main channel. But today is our last day here in New York. We fly out at like seven o'clock tonight, so we pretty much have a full day here, which I'm very excited about. We don't have time to see any shows, but we are going to go walk through Central Park, take some photos, get lunch, at a fun vegan spot, do some shopping at the Broadway merch stores. We stopped by there briefly yesterday while we were filming the Gossip Girl video, but I wanna spend some more time there because I feel like I was in a little bit of a rush since we did have a dinner reservation to get to after that. So we're gonna go over there, maybe pop into a museum if we have some time. I'm excited, so let's go because I'm pretty sure we're a little bit late for checking out of our hotel. <laughs> Today has been really, really nice so far. We took some photos in Central Park. We did more walking than we planned. We were gonna catch an Uber or a taxi, but there's like a, a Columbus Day parade, so like half the streets are shut down. So we decided just to walk, but it is a nice walk since it's our last day. It's great to just have the extra time on the street. I'm just a little worried because I, I don't want Skylar to walk too much. Cause she's pregnant, she's got the baby. I just had my first ever Braxton Hicks contractions. And that's, that's crazy. So basically <laughs> my understanding of that is it's your body practicing for labor, right? Right? Yes. So like think about that like you are so pregnant. I know that your body is like all right Let's get practicing. Well, it's so funny because you're such like a sweet person And I I like to think I'm such an optimistic person. I told you I was like it's totally fine But like we're gonna keep walking but just so you know I am having my first ever contractions and you're like, oh my god What is happening? Like this is like do you need to take a rest? Should we sit down? Like I do like, I call uber helicopter? <laughs> and I was like no, like I'm just so happy. Like, go body. Like, yeah, it's a little painful, but like, we're doing it. <laughs> and also, I like to always joke that like my son will be on Broadway someday because like Kyle and I are such theater people. And I was like, what a great claim to fame to be like on my mom's last day in New York. I literally tried to make her go into early labor yep. because I want to stay so bad. He's really mad that we're leaving. <laughs> Don't like, you I dare. See more theater. Yeah, <laughs> you're like walking towards the airport, and he's like kicking you, like go back. <laughs> It's a really nice day though. It's a little bit warmer today than it has been the other days, but because there are so many tall buildings in New York, pretty much everything is shaded. It's blocking up the sun. So it's kind of like the perfect temperature. Like I'm in a lightweight turtleneck and I'm not sweaty, but I'm not cold. Finishing the trip right where we started it at a vegan restaurant with the best veggie burger ever on a frickin' pretzel bun and a mojito and a mocktail. <laughs> it has been such a good trip. Uh, cheers. Thank you. Love you, work wife. <laughs> We are at the airport now. We just finished going through security. We are right next to our gate. So we'll be boarding in about 45 minutes, I think. We've got some time to chill. I have a lot of work to do on the flight. So I'm hoping I can get a little bit of that done now, actually. And then I can watch more RuPaul's Drag Race on the flight. I have like four more episodes that I downloaded before I left that are on my iPad for me to watch. So that would be great. I would love to just be able to chill out on the flight, at least for part of the time. So I'm not working the whole time. But also I feel like, you know, a flight from New York 
York to San Diego is like five hours of time where I can just sit and uninterruptedly work. Like I can't do anything else really if I want to. If I'm at home and I'm working, there are other fun things and other distractions. So I kind of want to take advantage of it. I always prefer evening flights. I would love to know what you guys think because for me, I'm like, if I can fly out at 7 p.m. or 7 a.m., why wouldn't I choose the 7 p.m. so I can have an extra 12 hours in New York City? Like we had so much fun today. We checked out of our hotel in the morning and then checked our bags at the front desk and we had like five, six hours to just run around the city and have fun and have a photo shoot and go to the Broadway merch store. Literally everything went perfect on this trip. I just, I get so worried about Skylar being that she is pregnant and she's also someone who just never wants to inconvenience me. So I know she's never gonna say, hey, I really do need to take a taxi or an Uber instead of walking. So I always feel like I need to make sure that she's taken care of like all the time because she's my best friend and I love and care about her and want to make sure that she's comfortable and happy but like triple that that she's pregnant like I want to make sure she's comfortable and happy and that her baby is comfortable and happy she's such a trooper though like literally this entire trip every you know 30 minutes or so I'd be like how are you feeling and she'd be like I'm good how are you and I'd be like well you're the pregnant one but that's just Skylar she's so sweet and so accommodating and awesome and I just I had so much fun with her on this trip like we were constantly just like making jokes and telling stories and reminiscing and laughing and making new memories. Literally last night after we finished filming the Gossip Girl video, we finished up the video by going to the Empire Hotel for drinks and we literally sat there for over two hours just like talking and laughing and like looking at old Facebook posts. And here she is, she just walked up. I was just talking about how great you are. Okay, I am. Yeah, and how, much about how great you are. No, you're great. No, you're great. No, you stop. <laughs> oh, well, I love you. I love you so much. And I love you guys. And this was just such a fun trip. I hope we get to do something like this again in the future with your baby out of the womb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, this is definitely the last trip that we'll take. Oh, for sure. Before. I mean, this was our first solo trip, just the two of us, but. Yeah, and this is probably the last trip I'll take. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you're six months. How weird. That's crazy. Ah! Well, I'm glad you guys got to be here for it. Love you so much, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.